Greetings, I'm Epictetus and this is Epic Tech. And we are going to jump right into the Mark of the Day. And the reason is because we had to get rid of the last mod of the day. Well, we didn't have to. There was a little confusion on my side where I thought that the um, that Digi's Wings mod was required for this next mod. And it's not. It's actually all of the Digi stuff is included. And so you don't actually need Digi's. So I'm going to be removing that from my mod list. And I apologize for those who had already been playing with it and were excited about it. Don't worry. The next one's even better. So you might have noticed my magic floating lights there. I think I added these lights in after I stopped recording at the ends of the wings. And <laughs> I love these. <laughs> They're great. Check this out. They even uh, they even come with the ship <laughs> because uh, well, it had to remove the model, and so they, they don't exist anymore. It's kind of funny. Anyway, let's get rid of those lights and let's put on some different wings from our mod of the day. All right, let's jump in and find those wings. Okay, Takeshi, is that it? Yeah, this is it. Check out all these things. So, Plane Parts by Takeshi? Takeshi? I don't know. It's Plane Parts, one way or the other. And, wow, look at all this stuff. There's so many different kinds of wings. There's even other neat things, like, uh, where we got? We have landing gear and other things and even covers for landing gear, like, hatches and covers for t I don't even know what half this stuff is but it's awesome it's totally cool air brakes okay that's cool that's really cool what is this thing wing rigging oh that's right that's if you want to make like a biplane and you need rigging between the top and bottom or whatever very cool stuff so we're going to grab just a fairly normal wing for now uh, okay good that was a large one I wonder if this is kind of the same as this sort of looks like the digi wing except for it's like pointed okay ah turn off t i hate that there we go um this is a pointed edge oh you know those could be handy for other things too Ooh, that's just really big Pretty cool. Actually, the, the light's in the way. We need to get rid of those lights. Get lost. Oh, it recalculated the grid and dropped the other one. Good. Okay. Let's see what else we've got in here. So that's pointed edge, pointed edge. I wonder if these are all pointed edges. Yeah, these are all pointed edges. I don't want the pointed edges. I want the sloped edges. That says rounded. I grabbed pointed. Okay. Kind of liked the round ones. Oh, my. Okay. So, rounded edge. There we go. This is more like it. So, they even go further than Digi did. Crazy quantities. I don't need to go too crazy because... Each one of these has its own aerodynamic properties, if you will. Uh, no. Let's try this. Kind of want to do like that. That looks cool, doesn't it? No? Kind of lame? That's okay. I know it looks just like... It looks... Wait, I'm not in creative mode. No, I'm not. Oh, I see. It's... The building model for it is just... A black version of the same thing. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. That's eh, it's not an incredibly impressive wing. What else we got? There's a wing tips. Ooh, a rounded half. See, I could I could see using a lot of these parts for other buildings that have nothing to do. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, for things that have nothing to do with planes just having some of these other building parts now for the most part i avoid using um using mods for 
structure building because I don't like the idea of losing a mod and having my stuff fall apart. <laughs> but at the same time, well, yeah. There's advantages to it as well. Okay, let's go see how this thing does. Ooh, these wings are bigger than the other ones. Oh, it's still dark outside. Okay, we're going to go do this in a minute because we also want to go see if we can find that that uh, remote drone thing that we had last time that I um, dropped off the edge and lost signal to. Yeah, that was funny. Okay, so in the meantime, let's do a quick update on this system over here. I've got some great news. Okay? I have perfected the script. Yes, I have. This is the new and improved version. Check code, okay. Um, down in the description, you're going to find this line of code, okay? And it's very, very long. It's like, it's off the edge. As a matter of fact, it can't even, you can't even see the whole thing here. But in the description, you'll see the whole thing. It's gonna be like five lines long or something. Um, go to this website. And you can paste this in. This is the load line, okay? You can copy it from the description and paste it in there. And you can actually have your own copy of this entire script. And you can even modify it, okay? Be aware, it move, the page loads very slowly. And with a script as complex as this one, it takes quite a while to do anything. Whoops. I think that ran once. Okay. But... Uh, that's right, I have a couple other things to do. Okay, let me do some stuff here. Um, first of all, I don't want that to be... Yeah, okay. Stop. Great. Off. <laughs> uh, set up actions. We're getting rid of the timer re-trigger. So it's just going to run it once. Okay. This, you'll understand in a minute. Okay. That's, we'll get, we'll get back to that. We want this set to one second. But we don't, actually no, we could have that at any delay we wanted to. Does not matter. Okay, we're going to turn that on. It's going to run once. And then we're going to stop. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to change all this. We're going to get rid of all of these. Remove and remove. And then we're going to go find the my PB. Run with default argument, my PB, run, undock. That's all we need to do. Now, if I hit undock, it does nothing. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Hang on. Uh, no text panel blocks with the name including panel dock one. That's what it is. This needs to be renamed. I did, the, I did all the testing for this. I know it works, <laughs> but I didn't save the world that I did all the testing in because it was a creative world and I didn't want to do that. And I wanted to do it all on screen. So we're going to rename that to panel doc one. And now we're going to hit run. And th that happened before. The, the damage will never happen again. So it says undocked there. Now we're waiting. And let that fix up. And now we can just hit this, and it will completely automatically dock. You can even see it running over here. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, we took out the retrigger. Like, it, it, we took, it can't be running over and over again. Ha ha. I'm magic. Look at that. See? Worked absolutely perfectly. And if we go and look, the distance is like the minimum. And do I, I, whoops. I'm in the wrong suit. Uh, okay. Oh, not too bad. Okay. I was actually in the right suit. This is the suit that I want to wear, but I forgot that I was doing all my creative mode <laughs> stuff before. Okay, and you notice it says docked. And we're going to do something even cooler. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. There we go. And there. And then we're going to name both of these panel dock one. There we go. And now we can do this. 
Uh, let's also rename these. So button one is going to be dock. Actually, we'll call it auto dock. Button two, auto undock. Here we go. So, whoops, that was already a... Ooh. Yeah, okay. Don't hit that button. I actually should probably update <laughs> the script. I never tested telling it to auto dock after it was already auto docked. I'll do that next time. Luckily, it's. Thank you. Um, all right, so undocked. Now we're going to hit auto dock. And you can even see it says piston velocity 0.5. You know, that's not as useful as the how far out it is. Connector is unconnected. I should actually change that to piston distance instead of piston velocity. Well, little things to fiddle with. If I do upgrade this uh, script before uh, the end of this episode, I will update what's in the description. So you'll have the latest version in the description. Okay? And that's about all there is to it. But I notice the sun is coming up, so let's go see if we can do stuff. So cool. And I can also switch. I can just do this, and it'll go back out and auto dock fine so the only problem is don't hit this button twice and that'll be really easy to test because I can just say if I can just add an if already connected then don't extend kind of thing and that shouldn't be a problem <sighs> getting a little bit off track. The one thing I wanted to mention, because I started to and then bad things happened there. The way this works is when you hit trigger on uh, without any arguments, it goes through and runs the script. And at the end of the script, it tells it to trigger this timer, which then in turn triggers the script again. It's a little bit hokey but there was no timer system inside the script so if eventually I might go into the program and, and write in a timer instead of using a timer if that makes any sense but I thought it was a pretty clever way to solve the problem all right so I'm just going to turn off my engines and see if we can get some forward flight no we can't no we can't wait no okay did I do something wrong? Hang on, let's see. No, I think we're good. I just needed more speed. Alright, let's see if we can find that drone. I gotta come down here. I just realized that tree right there. That tree. Yeah. That is the tree that I started my very first episode of Space Engineers under. That's cool. Okay, that's all. That is all. It's in the thumbnail for the uh, first episode.
Um, yeah, okay. Oh, even better, it crashed. Cool. Okay, well that was a bit of a waste of uh, time. I didn't find it. I'm not sure I'll ever find it. For all I know, it's a non-existent thing now. Who knows? But, that's okay. We can spend some time doing other stuff, and one day we'll run across it. We'll just see it out there somewhere and be all like, hey, I remember that, and it'll be fun. Okay. As cool as those wings are, that's really not the purpose of the jet chair. The jet chair's purpose is to be small and light and effectively replace a jet pack. And it does a great job of that. Yeah, it does a great job of that. And the wings kind of defeat that purpose. So we're just going to go ahead and put this back in here. Got to fly it over this. Okay, don't do that. Just, I just want to set you down. Okay, there we go. And then, and then and then, what I think we want to do is make ourselves an actual airplane. And what I mean by that is make something with an actual cockpit with wings, <laughs> obviously, and with some forward thrust, but that's about all. And next episode, I plan on coming back and adding in a speed mod. Then we'll be able to use that airplane as a quick way to look around the, the planet and get from base to base and that kind of thing. Then we can start expanding and adding in bases in other locations. Like, for example, right now we really don't have ice nearby. There's ice in a lake, and I've shown this a couple episodes ago. There's ice in a lake way over there, but there's not really any, a whole lot of ice around here. There's obviously some snow up there. It'd be kind of cool to add a base up on top of that mountain. Um, I've also thought about putting a base into the side of one of these mountains, and that actually might be a good spot for the um, to have an actual airstrip something along those lines I don't know well 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 I was being really dumb I went to go fix this script and realized I only need one button I don't need to have two separate buttons it's as simple as this you hit that it tells you it's current status it's waiting for it to be lockable Continuously running the script. And as soon as it detects that it can connect, changes to connected, stops running the script. But now that it's connected, I just had it so that when you click the button, it checks to see if it's connected. And if it is, then it does its undock procedure, which is that. And that's it. One button. So, like I said, the script load code and the link to the site that I used to make this is in the description. And I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you're interested in me actually doing kind of a full tutorial on this website and how to use it, let me know. Just write that in the description in the comments down below. Um, it took me a little bit to get used to it, but once I got used to it, it's really easy. Like like super simple you don't need to know anything about code whatsoever and uh, the basic con concepts of you know what if means <laughs> or else means is kind of handy but honestly I could cover that in about three seconds in the video so if you have ever been interested in writing your own scripts but didn't want to learn how to program just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video cool deal good all right, let's make an airplane. There we go, something along those lines. We're definitely gonna have to put some sort of like 
landing strip sort of lights or something along those along the outsides and it's too bad I've got the, uh, the stairs here because I wouldn't mind having like a control tower view maybe I can just ooh, <laughs> missed the stairs it's okay maybe we can even put something right here eh, we'll see we'll fiddle with stuff later but for right now I promised you an airplane so let's make an airplane and let's use all the crazy parts. Okay. So let's see if we jump down to Takeshi. Look at what do we got? Wing motor. Ooh. Plane wheel motor. What? One to one. Okay. One to two. Plane block light, light armor inverted corner. Plane, oh, wow, there's so many things. Okay. Oh, a plane antenna. Ooh, it would be nice if the range was longer on that. Okay. Wheel suspension, large twin two by two. Plane wheel suspension two by two. Oh, there's so much. I want to do it all. Okay, so this is what I got so far, and this is just kind of a general shape. I'm not great at this, but hey, it's not too bad. I am going to remove that landing gear in the final version, just so you know. And I haven't yet put a, um, a repair beacon on this to finish building it. But these are batteries here and here. I figure I'm just going to run off batteries, and we'll connect into a connector wherever we are at two batteries on something that's pretty much entirely run by atmospheric you know lift that it shouldn't be a problem I think this is a medium cargo container I figure this is going to be the kind of thing where I bring a bunch of parts out somewhere maybe to a base area to build and so I would just load this up with a bunch of parts and off I go I'm using I can't really see the thing in there but that is a um, that is a sages connector which I've never used before uh, so I figured I'd give it a try and this is two separate five by five by one wings no that is a sorry four by five by one and a five by five by one I wanted to get this kind of extra swept back look to it you can see the angle changes between the two and then these I just discovered are light armor blocks. What? Oh, I screwed up. Okay. I was trying to use wing fill, and I guess I grabbed the wrong one. Let me fix that. There. Much better. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is actually put wheels on this thing. And one of the cool things about the plane part mod is that it has these wheel compartments. Where are they? So it's got plane wheel motors, and then it's got different kinds of wheels, and then it's got these covers. So you can kind of make your own little compartments for the wheels. And yeah. So I don't know what the difference between one by one and one by two is. Let's take a look. So what am I missing? Oh no! Oh, I see. One to two, meaning there's two block space on that, and there's one block space on that for like a larger. That's interesting. A single block space to a double block space. Neat. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, and that's why you would need two by one, because it goes like that. Neat. Let's get rid of this, and that, and that, and we can put a, we can put a, a wheel under here, and then we can put a wheel a little bit further back, so uh, there's still not going to be in great position, but 
not as horrible as I was afraid of. So let's see. So once that landing gear is gone, they'll be able to just kind of sit almost almost right underneath the cockpit. So then the the other ones I'm going to want as far back on the on the wings as possible and as far out on the wings as possible. Okay, this looks really weird, but I kind of want to try it. If I have to start all over again, no big deal. Ooh, neat. And I believe these wheels actually can drive the plane. So, or not. They may not be able to drive the plane. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would. Whoops. Oh, I accidentally hit one. Nice. Or two. I accidentally hit two when I was hitting W. That worked. <laughs> okay, so... No, they can't actually... Well, can they? Let's see. Controls. Wheels. Oh, they're actually not completed. They do have the ability to drive. Ah, that's right. Because they're on another grid, officially, Igor won't help. All right, let's try this now and see if we can move it. Oh! Hmm. I wonder if the fact that they're on another grid makes a big difference. I really can't do anything with this. Um, barking brake? Oh yeah, I can't even do a handbrake. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay, good. It stopped before going off the edge. I'm just going to knock that backward just a tad. Go back, please. So we might need to do something else to keep it from rolling around. <laughs> so, I could put gigantic thrusters on here. No, let's not do that. So, I think I'm just going to stick... I don't know. I could just put one gigantic thruster on the back. Oh, just for fun. Let's do it. Just, just for right now. Igor, finish this up for me. Oh, I almost forgot a gyro. Okay, let's get a let's get a gyro on here. Seems like a good idea to me. One should be enough, I think. Stick one right there. Why not? And if it's not enough and the whole thing explodes, it's okay. Okay. I'm doing this again. I'm actually going Oh. Uh oh. I just realized something. I have no rear thrust. We're kind of committed now. Oh, no! <gasps> oh, that was scary. <laughs> that was really scary. I, like, immediately dropped. Well? Oh, I'm losing. Oh, okay. Yep, one. Yep. Oh, my gosh. This thing has no... Oh, this thing acts really weird. Oh, so sometimes, sometimes when I hit forward, the thruster, like, shoves the nose of the plane down. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I'm definitely looking forward to that, uh, um, to that speed mod. Because, of course, we're almost instantly capping out at 100 meters a second. Oh, this thing really wants to pull up right now, too. Oh, this thing is, like, really hard to control. <laughs> oh, yeah, that time it didn't. Like, so right now it's not throwing my nose down. All right. Well, the only problem now is I don't think I can land this thing. 
I, I realized after I'd given it a little bit thrust that I had no ability to stop. So short of trying to tip it up on its tail and slowly lower it down on, on its tail, <laughs> which is theoretically possible, but highly unlikely. We're probably just going to crash this thing. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see if we can. How insane am I for even thinking I might be able to do this? Okay, hang on. Let's let's come at this from the other side. I might actually be able to do that. I can do this. No, not like that. I can't. Come on. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, I should have stopped there. Well, never mind. <laughs> Ah, so close. I almost had it. Well, this is where my game crashes. Let me try the MBT. Yep. <laughs> it crashed. Okay, well, game's reloaded, and I guess we get another shot at trying to land this thing. Cool. Cool. Okay, not quite as smooth as last time. Hang on, let's let's get this thing up. I need a better viewpoint. How did I do that before? Well, that didn't work. Okay, 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 this is gonna work, this is gonna work. And I'm going to go off the other side. <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. Hang on. This actually might be a better viewpoint. Come on. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and land it right here. I think this is a good spot for it. Just, just right here. Seems just like a... just That's a good idea. Yeah, you, you, just, you just stay there. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. So a new version of Space Engineers just came out. Just the latest bug fix, kind of. They added a new server browser and uh, a couple of other small things. And of course, apparently, because it's a new version of uh, Space Engineers, they uh, broke some mods, specifically the beam drill. So, yeah, we don't have a beam drill. It's gone. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. It's Space Engineers. 
You know how I always say, welcome to Space Engineers. It's okay. Luckily, <laughs> luckily we had just finished mining everything we would ever need to mine with the beam drill, so it's okay. And really it's more about processing right now than it is anything else. If you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notify bell, and I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. Well, any landing you can walk away from, right?